In luxury real estate, good things often come to those who wait. For homeowners who can afford to play the long game for 10, 15, 30 years, staying put can mean a windfall when they finally sell. In Psychoponic, New York, Yvonne Dunleavy purchased a modest home for $140,000 in 1978. Today, she and her husband, Joost Schirik, are listing the 1,800 square foot modern home for $5,750,000. All told, Ms. Dunleavy estimates spending $350,000 on renovations, including the addition of a new wing, new flooring, and sliding glass doors. A neighboring home recently sold for a similar asking price, and has already been torn down to make way for a $17 million spec house. In San Francisco, Ed McGurk and his family are selling an eight-bedroom Victorian home for $6.95 million. His grandfather bought it for $30,000 in 1926. Unlike most homes in the area, the Queen Anne-style home still has most of its original layout, with 12-foot ceilings and grand parlors. In the basement, his grandfather's Prohibition-era bar is still intact. Behind a mirror is a passageway that led into the front yard, presumably to make a quick escape from police, he said. In Beverly Hills, California, Leonard Ross bought the roughly 30,000 square foot estate of newspaper magnate William Randolph Hearst in 1976 for $1.7 million. He is selling the five-acre compound, including the now 50,000 square foot mansion, for $195 million. The property includes a two-story library, an art deco lounge, and roughly 28 bedrooms and 38 bathrooms. He says he's been reluctant in the past to sell because it's been a great investment property, but also for less tangible reasons. As Mr. Ross says, there's only one best house. <laughs>